Hey, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm a little tardy, but I said I was coming and here I am. Thank you for joining in on with, I'm sorry, <laughs> Motivational Moments with Gigi Smith. Motivational Moments with Gigi Smith. I'm going to tag a few people because we're going to talk just a few minutes. We're going to talk just a few minutes. I'm going to tag some people right quick, though. Tag some people. Tag some people. We gon' tag some people. Tag, tag, tag. I hope y'all have had an awesome, awesome day. An awesome day. Because I have, I have, I have. Okay. As you can see, the title is Hold Your Head Up, Hold Your Head Up. And it is just amazing to me that... You know, we go through life. This is a tedious journey, but you have to keep your head held high. You don't have anything to hold your head down for. Why do I say that? Because you are already victorious. You are already the victor and not the victim. And some of us need to stop playing the victim. Stop playing the victim because you're not a victim. Stop playing. Stop saying, woe is me. Why not you? Or why is me? Why not you? What make you so good you can't go through? You can't go through some trials and tribulations. Do you know adversity, it doesn't feel good, but it's necessary. It's necessary for you to know that God is still in control. It's necessary for you to build you some spiritual muscles. It's necessary for you to continue to Keep your eyes on God. Keep it in the center lane because they're going to swallow you up on the right or the left. See, keep it. Keep your eyes on God. Focus on God. Focus, keep your focus on God because you have those things called distractions on your right or your left. When you have made up in your mind, you're going to step out on faith. You know that slew good and good... Slew footed, good for nothing, so and so the devil, he coming. Why he coming? Because he see that you doing what God is calling you to do. So I came to tell you tonight, don't stop doing what he called you to do. Just do it even more. Do it even more. And, and continue to get better and better and better at what God is telling you to do. The assignment he's given you, you have an assignment. He's waiting on you to do it. He's, he, he doesn't want you to say, God, not now. He, he wants you to say, I'll go if I have to go by myself. See, that's, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to be bold for him. He wants us to stand up and hold our head up because he has us. God has approved. He's already equipped you. He's already anointed you. And he's pointing you the direction you should go. So why is it that we want to go our way? See, we need to have the mindset and mind frame change your mind you change your life our mindset should be god i done tried it my way now i'm ready to try it your way because you've been blessing me and i can only talk for me for 53 years 53 years and I might have a little few aches and pains, but guess what? I'm still on this side of glory so if god allows you to see another day that means your purpose on this side is not complete. 2020 had its number. 2021 has its number. Live your life to the fullest. Live your life to the fullest like, like never before. Be glad to wake up in the morning. Be glad to tell somebody, good morning, how you doing, with a smile on your face. Be glad that God saw fit to pick you out. To do his assign, do the assignment he has for you. He picked you. So you ought to be, be humble enough to say, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Because you, you didn't have to pick me. You could have left me out there in the, in the, in the dirt wallowing around trying to figure out something. But God saw fit. He picked you up out the miry clay and turned you around. See, God is a God that he will, he will change some stuff just like that. You, you, trying to, you trying to figure it out, and God has already worked it out. He wants us to be still. Be still and know that he is God. All those that have, have contemplated starting a business, have started a business, don't let nothing and nobody talk you out of your blessing. 
Don't let nothing and nobody make you fear what God has for you. God has something miraculous for you. God is waiting for you so he can bless you. He's waiting for you to walk down Faith Street. And I believe in me way. <laughs> I trust a God in my spirit. He's waiting on that. See, sometimes we have to change our atmosphere. Whether people, places, and things, you got to change them. They can't stay the same. Because you're not the same. Once you begin to, ch you changing for the better. Your phone won't ring that much. Like it used to when you was doing what they was doing. But you decided you want to do something better for yourself and your family. You want to trust God. You want to get on your knees and tell God thank you. You want to labor to God. You want God to reign in you. You want his word to abide in you and you abide in him. <laughs> That's what you want and That's your desire. So you don't have those people that say they're your F-R-I-E-N-D-S. You don't have those. You have those frenemies. Those are enemies disguised as friends. They want you to slip up and do something so they can say, I knew she wasn't about it. I knew she was playing. See, stop trusting what people say about you, what they say to you. They might not support you, but you better know you. You better know who you are. You better know that you belong to God. Because if you don't know that, you can easily be be tripped up and they'll say something and you'll sway over there. You'll go that way. And God told you to stay there. Stay grounded and God is going to move on your behalf. Don't move if he didn't tell you to move. Stay there. Stay there. Stay grounded. Right there. Until he, until God gives you the word, it's time for you to move. <sighs> And when he gives you the word, <laughs> when he gives you the word, it's time for you for that, that, that time at that, at the, in that situation is over. Dust the feet, dust your feet off and go on and go where he's telling you to go. I'm just trying to help you. Hold your head up. What you holding your head down for? What you holding your head down for? What you feeling sorry for yourself for? Why? Those are called pity parties. I don't do them, and I don't, I don't, I don't uh, recommend them. I don't suggest them. Uh, I don't do pity parties, and I'm not going to allow anybody around me to do a pity party. Cause do you know God can bless in the in the midst of a storm? God can bless in the midst of a storm. In spite of the storm, he's still blessing. In spite of corona, he's still blessing. In spite of everything that happened in 2021, thus far, God is yet blessing. Why do I say that? Somebody say, why I say that? I'm going to tell you why I say that. Because you still here. God has allowed you to see the second day of March, 2021. He didn't have to do it, but there's an assignment on your life. There's an assignment on your life and you need to get up and take charge. Be bold for the assignment that he's given you. Don't be afraid to step out on faith because of what you think somebody say. Get over public opinion. Get over people. Because people don't want you to walk the way God has you walking. They want to see you broken. They want to see you tired. They want to see you not knowing your, uh, your head from your toe. That's what they want. But you need to start being bold for the Lord. Be bold for God. Be bold. Stand up. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. Have the mentality of a giraffe and not the turtle. Have a, the mentality of a giraffe and not the turtle. Giraffe can see farther than way over there on the other side of town. But a turtle can only see what's in his face. I'm going to have the mentality of the giraffe. You know, I might have had the mentality of a turtle 
a long time ago. But since I've grown in God and I continue to grow in God, my fortitude and mentality of the giraffe is growing leaps and bounds. It's growing over and over more and more because I want more. I want more. I want more of God. I want more of God. I want more. Because God has blessed me in a mighty way. He had gave me an assignment in 2011. I haven't stopped running yet. He's magnified what I love to do is help people. That gives me life when I'm able to help somebody. But God has magnified it in a way I'm like, wow. I am really... What God has given me has really allowed me to bless some lives, bless some people, be a kingdom builder, be a kingdom builder. Yes, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm not your typical motivational speaker. Yes, I'm a life coach. I'm not your typical life coach because I'm going to tell you what thus said the Lord. I'm going to tell you what God said. If you want to ask me, I'm going to tell you what God said about it. First, I'm going to pray about it before I tell you anything. Then the, the words, the, 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 what he t gives me to tell you, I'm going to tell you. I'm not your typical motivational speaker. I'm not the one that's going to make you feel good for five minutes. Then after you leave out my presence, you back to the same. Because God gives me, he has given me. The charge to being a kingdom builder. Yes, I will motivate, encourage you, inspire you, and empower you to live your life to the fullest. But I'm not going to force you to live your life to the fullest. All I can do is, is, is give you the information. Just like a, a you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to encourage you all I know how, all that God gives me utterance to do. But it's up to you are the, you are the one, it's ultimately up to you. Do you want to continue to live like you're living? Or do you want to live where you smiling all the time in spite of the storm? You feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror. You say, I love me some, I can, I'm, I'm, this might be, I'm sorry. I love me some Gigi. What, you can look in the mirror, cuz, and say, I love me some Fred. Whatever, whoever it is, look in the mirror and say that. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, you love you. You gonna do right by you. See, because sometimes we have a bad habit. We'll do any and everything to ourselves. Then we say, I love, we love us. If you love yourself, you're going to do right by yourself, whether it's body, your health, your physical, whatever it is. Whatever journey you on, you need to do, be the best version of you. I, I'm an advocate of that. Be the best version of you. That's right, that's right. Be the best version of you, regardless of what somebody thinks. They can be in your household, regardless of what they think. Be the best version of you, and they will catch on. It's going it, it's to be like a wildfire in there. Because they're going to be so, so, so hot to know what it is that you're doing, that you can get up every morning smiling, and we got all these bills stacked up against us. Because I know my God. My daddy got plenty of money. He going to make sure that your household doesn't go without. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to abide in him and he will abide in you. He wants you to lean and depend on him. I will trust the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will trust the Lord. I will trust the Lord. In spite of what's going on around me right now, I will trust the Lord. I will lean and depend on God. See, because we can't handle all this on our own strength. We have to pull on the strength of God. We have to pull on the strength and dig deep with the power that's within you. 
You got to dig deep because you have the power. Why do I say that? Because Jesus rose with all power and he our brother. We join hands with Jesus. So the same power that Jesus rose with, we have the power. We have to tap into it. We have to start activating our faith. You got to activate your faith. You can't just say, I got faith. Then in the, on the other side of your faith, you saying, I don't know how this is going to happen. You just negated everything you said God going to do. I know God going to do it, but who? Do you know B-U-T? That's a three-letter word that is so dangerous. So dangerous. I can do it, but... <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I need y'all to get, get some word. Get some word in your belly. Get some word in you. So when you need to use it, it'll come up. It'll come up. Whatever your scripture is, it'll come up. <laughs> God is good, y'all. We don't have a reason to walk around with our head, head hanging down. What? Why are you doing that? When a person holds their head down, that shows they have a lack of confidence in themselves, lack of confidence in anything else. Because when you begin to trust God, you begin to grow in God, your faith will increase. Your confidence level will increase. You will begin to believe in you more and more and more. Trust God. Hold your head up. You have the power. You don't, know, you don't want to use it. You have the power to change circumstances. You have the power to build the empire that God has laid in your hand. The dream that God has given you, you have the power to, for it to develop. And grow and bless somebody. Because guess what? Your dream is not about you. Your vision is not about you. Your ministry is not about you. It's about the people you serve. It's about the people that you are serving. Whether it's clients. Whether it's your... Uh, your... Your... Your church member. Your congregation. That's what I was trying to say. Your congregation. Wherever it is. Whoever it is. Whether it's your neighbor, your dream, your vision, your goals, your ministry, your empire, your business. It's not about you. It's about the people that you serve. What is it that your business or your ministry is doing for your community? What is it, what is it doing for somebody else? Are you just in business or ministry because you have you have an attitude that it's about you? It's not about you. It's about giving God the glory. That's what it's supposed to be about. Give God the glory. Everything you do, everything I do, I want God to get the glory, not GG. Anytime I rise, I say, God decrease. GG and increase you because I don't want them to see me. I want them to see you. I don't want them to hear me. I want them to hear you. I want them. I want people to know that God works in within me. I don't get on here and get up and speak because, oh, I just love it. That's my assignment. And I'm going to do my assignment to the best of my ability. That's my assignment. Are you doing your assignment? Are you doing what God has called you to do? Or has somebody said something and you have gotten paralyzed because of public opinion? Don't allow people to paralyze you. They'll say something negative and you will just go back in your shell like your turtle. I encourage you to be that giraffe. I encourage you to walk tall like that giraffe. I encourage you to see what the little turtle can't see. 
Because you can't tell your out of the out of the box bigger than life vision to a turtle. Because they don't get it. They can't see your vision. They can't see why you do what you do. And sometimes, you know, they don't want to see it either. They don't want to see it. They don't want to see it. Because it's something within you that they wish they had in them. There's some boldness that's reigning in you that other people that have this, all this talk, all this negativity, they wish they had it in them. They wish they was bold as you are. They wish they could, they could help people like you do. But it's something about them, the reason that, that God didn't give them that. God has given each and every one, each and every one of us, an assignment to do. I'm all about doing my assignment. I'm all about helping people figure out what their assignment is. I'm all about helping people understanding, getting to know who they are. <coughs> so they can be bold for the assignment that they're given. I'm all about helping. I'm all about showing you what I've done to get where I am. Because I don't mind giving you, giving you the tools to make it from A, B, C, and sometimes D. So you begin to feel good, better and better about yourself. Your confidence level, <coughs> excuse me, will begin to rise. The way you feel about yourself will begin to rise. You have to understand that you don't have a reason to hold your head down. You don't have a reason to hold your head down because you're not a victim. You are a victor. You have, uh, Jesus has already conquered the world. He's already conquered the world. So <laughs> if Jesus already conquered the world, what is it that we talking about we can't do? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The earth is the Lord and the, <clears throat> the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. We don't have to want for anything. Because the Lord is my shepherd. God wants an intimate relationship with us. He wants to be able to talk to you. <clears throat> he wants to be able uh, uh, for you to labor to him, for you to just have... Have you some knee-ology and face-ology and ask God for clarity. He wants you to ask him for clarity. He wants to have an intimate relationship with you. How many of you are willing and know that God wants a relationship with you, an intimate relationship, and you are willing and ready and say, God, I want an intimate, intimate relationship with you. Maybe I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry. I might just be talking to me. I want an intimate relationship with God. I want to hear his voice. I need to hear his voice. Even in the storm, God is yet blessing. God is in the blessing business. And I'm claiming every blessing he has with my name on it. But guess what? He only going to deliver He's only going to deliver to Faith Street. He's only going to deliver to Faith Street. He's only going to deliver to Faith Street. Not I doubt it way. I don't believe I can do it. I really don't like myself Avenue. He's only going to deliver to Faith Street. Y'all better start holding your head up. Exercise and increase your faith. Ask God to give you what you need so you won't want to quit on the journey that you're on. For, for me, God gave me that over the summer. I asked him to give me what, what I need so I wouldn't want to quit do, doing my exercise, getting my health together. And he's, the, he's done just that. He, he's done just that. And I'm thankful that God is who he is in my life. 
I'm thankful God is who he is in my life. I can call him when I can't call nobody else. I can, <laughs> I can say, Lord, can you help me? When, when everybody else said, I can't help you right now, I, I can't do it. Because God will come and, and, and save you when, when you thought somebody else was supposed to save you. See, because God is a healer. He's a saver. He's a, he's a deliverer. He's a restorer. See, God is doing all that in this season. What is it that you're asking God for? I'm asking him for healing, deliverance, restoration, my whole bloodline. That's what I'm asking him for. I'm asking him to restore. I ask him, thank you for allowing me to keep my mind when I thought I was going to lose it. God, thank you for subtracting people in, out of my life that don't belong. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you for subtracting those out of my life that didn't belong there. Thank you for bringing the people in my life that you have orchestrated and designed to be in my life. To push me, encourage me, and empower, motivate me, and 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 finish helping cultivate what you already have on the inside. But I just didn't understand what all was on me, on the inside of me. I didn't understand. But I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you tonight. I know exactly what God is doing in this season for me. In my spiritual walk, in my physical walk, in my career level. I know what God is doing for me. He's about to move me from working a seven to four, and I'm going to be working for me full time. See, um, y'all don't even understand. You got to do, you got to speak those things that are not as though they were. See, that's in my spirit. It's been in there for a couple of weeks. This is the first time I mouthed it, but God has already shown me what's about to happen. He's already shown me what's about to happen. There's plenty of things, plenty, plenty of places that I'm going to go <laughs> that I haven't been before, but my name is already there. People are already saying something about Gigi Smith, and I ain't even been there yet. Y'all better learn how to trust God. You better learn how to trust God. Trust God with everything in you. You better let go and let God. God is trying to do something miraculous on the inside of you. Let go and let God have his way. Relinquish who you know and take on who God is calling you to be. God is calling you to be a kingdom builder. He's calling you to be <coughs> a leader in your community. God is calling you to be <coughs> the one that will speak up when won't nobody else speak up. He's calling you <coughs> to be a kingdom builder. He's calling whatever your assignment is. He's yet calling you. Somebody listening to this. God has called you for an assignment and you hadn't told him yes yet. You trying to think everything, every excuse in the book. Why you not ready. You can't go. God has already equipped you with what you need. All he waiting for is your yes. I'll go God. That's all he waiting on. I'm just telling you what has happened for me. What's happened for me. From the time God told me to, from the time he called me in 2011 to now, it has been some growth, some growth, some growth. <coughs> it feels good to know you're growing in God. It feels good to know that you're growing in God. And I'm thankful. That God has allowed me and he gives me the words to tell his people. Time is running out. Time is running out. We need to get, we need to get it together. God has been trying to get our attention after attention after attention. He, 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 he started with, with the virus in 2020. 
it rolled over. I'm talking about folks in Jackson now, I think. He, it rolled over to the the snow, then the ice, then the... Some of us still don't have water, but we still need to be thankful that God still sits high and he looks low. He knows what's going on. You don't have to put your mouth on nobody. God knows. Just ask him to, to, to fix it, God. Fix it for us, Jesus. Fix it. Fix it. If enough of us bombard heaven, God will fix it. He wait for us to turn back to him. Because we didn't got all off course. <coughs> You think because you're grown, you can do what you want to do. You still got a daddy that sits high and it looks low. Some of us ain't, ain't got on our knees and called on God in years. Oh, but when something go wrong, go not so good in your life. you The first thing we holler is, Lord have mercy. You ain't called him before now, why you calling him now? You don't call God just when stuff go bad. You call him when it's good. <clears throat> you learn to praise God. In your bedroom, in your room, wherever you are. You learn to praise God right there. Praise him for life. For me, I might have a few aches and pains. But I'm thankful. I'm still here. I'm thankful that God keeps covering me. I'm thankful because he didn't have to do it. God didn't have to blow breath in my body this morning. But that lets me know when he did blow breath in my body, guess what that means? That means your purpose on this side of glory is not complete. Get to knowing your purpose. Get to knowing your why. I used to hear people say, my clock woke me up. Okay. Who allowed you to hear your clock? You better say thank you to the right, right person. My mama woke me up. You better tell God thank you for allowing your mama to hear something to wake up so she can then wake you up. Start giving God what's due him, and that's glory and praise. <coughs> Prayer, praise, and glory. Prayer, praise, and glorify God. Glory to God. We're going to pray about it. We're going to praise about it. We're going to glorify God and tell him thank you. I don't know about you, but I get excited when I talk about the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. Because I want you to know that this thing is real. This not no game for me. This is real. I love telling people about what God has done. How he saved my life December 18, 1990. I could have been dead and gone. <laughs> but he said, I, you can't have that one. I have something for her to do. I don't know, maybe y'all don't get this excited. I don't know, but I just get excited and I want to share the excitement. I want this to this to explode like the domino. It, it, it's a domino effect. I want you to know God for yourself. I want you to have an intimate relationship with God. Because God is waiting on us to turn back to him. He ain't gone nowhere. Wherever you left him, that's where he is. He wait for you to come back to him. Everything, somebody might be saying, my, my life is not going the way I want it to go. You just said the key thing. You said the way you want it to go. You ain't put God in no nowhere. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plans. God knows the plans he has for you to prosper you and not harm you. So you would have an expected end. God knows the plans he has for you. Start asking God, God, teach me your ways. Show me your plans for my life, God. 
I don't want to depend on the plans I said I have. I want to be operate in the way you would have me to operate. What's your plans? I want my plans and your plans to intertwine so there be as one. I want what God wants for me. Do you want what God wants for you? Are, are you so worried about man? You want to follow the Joneses and the Thomases and do what they do. And that's not what you're supposed to do. God wants you to follow him. God wants you to follow him with everything you have. And and don't be don't be afraid. Don't be afraid cuz yeah. It's it's going to seem like you're walking this journey alone and sometimes you are. It's you and God. <clears throat> so therefore, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not alone. God is standing right there with you. He's going to guide you the way you need to go. He's not going to walk it. He's going to tell you what way to go. Order my steps, Lord. Yeah, he's going to order them, but he's not going to walk them for you. He, he telling you which way to go. And you looking back and saying, Lord, what, what, where we going? Just keep going. Keep it in the center lane. Keep your focus on God. Because you will have, uh, have those distractions. You're going to have those. But when, when a distraction comes, you begin to call on God more. God, I need you right now. I need you right now, God. Because it's a thought trying to come to my mind that, that, that it doesn't need to be there because you didn't put it there. I need you right now, God. Hold your head up. Be bold for God. Be bold for the assignment God has given you. Just walk up. Walk up right before the Lord and he'll hold no good thing from you. Walk up right before God and he'll hold no good thing from you. <coughs> you all be blessed. Y'all have an awesome day. Just hold your head up and trust God. <coughs> Father God, we come to you as humble as we know how right now, God, just to tell you thank you. Thank you for being God all by yourself. Thank you for watching over us as, as we slept last night, God. Thank you as we rode on the dangerous highways and byways, God. God, we asking you for your protection, your, your hedge and your blanket of protection around us, God. Around our families right now, God. Every, <clears throat> everyone on the dangerous highways and byways, God, we thank you for your covering, God. Thank you for allowing us to find our home the way we left it when we left, God. God, we love you right now, God. God bless the the our vehicles that you have have allowed us to drive. God, that it would be no malfunction, no misfortune, malfunction, nothing me mechanical, nothing going to happen to the vehicles. God, God cover it from the top, the bottom, side to side, back to back. God, God just cover it all the way around. God, we love you right now. We thank you for the word tonight. God, we thank you for. For the vi your visitation of the Holy Spirit right now, God. We thanking you right now in the name of Jesus. We glorify your name right now, God. We will learn how to pray, praise, and glorify you, God. Right now in the name of Jesus. God, watch over us as we slum and sleep tonight, God. The angels that you have assigned to us, dispatch them to our location, God. <clears throat> so we can be covered in your name. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, God. We glorify you. We give you all that we have to give, God. We surrender ourselves to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all be blessed. I love you. If you need me, don't hesitate to inbox a call. Uh, I'm, I'm available. If Whether it's prayer, whether it's just to, just to you need an ear, I'm, I'm, I'm available. Y'all be blessed. I love you. Y'all have an awesome, awesome, awesome awesome night. Take Jesus with you. Have your pad and pen by your bed. You never know when God is going to download something and you want to be able to remember what he told you. Be blessed.